Factor, not only are they going through a situation where no player there has ever held the old oaken bucket, which is prized in Indiana, but this season they've been holding on to something else, something deeper, the memory of their late coach, Terry Hepner. And as they try to build on his legacy, they have carried his inspiration, his presence, and his spirit through the form of an extraordinary woman who cheers them on. Between the impossibility of replacing him and the inevitability of remembering him, she fills the void for a season, for a team, for herself. I'm their connection to Terry. And in turn, they're also my connection to him. In two short years, Terry Hepner connected with an entire campus. From the time Hep arrived at Indiana in 2004, he brought with him a relentless optimism, an infectious energy, Turn it loose today. I'm turning it loose. Go. and his greatest believer, his wife, Jane. And the associate head coach, Jane Hepner. From game days to practices to press conferences for the Hepners, work life and home life were one life. Why? Because we were one heart. And he made me better. And I made him better. And it's just how we did it. They did it together at Indiana. Through the ravages of cancer. Through two brain surgeries. Until June 19th, when Terry Hepner died of complications from a brain tumor. He was 59 years old. seeing him where he ought to be. And when the game is over, <laughs> for some reason that just, that's something I seem to kind of struggle with. Because my best friend is not going home with me after the game. This season, Hep is gone. But his strength remains in his wife. From the Hoosiers' opening game, when she took the field and heard her husband's name echo across the stadium. And they started chanting his name, and they just started cheering, and it was just... <laughs> I was overcome with the emotion of the moment, the loss, <laughs> But more than that, of what we, what they were giving to me. So she gives back to the program her husband left behind. Watching practice, encouraging players in the place she belongs. Even though he's gone, he's still here with us spiritually and he's living through her. If you're a family and uh, you have tragedy in a family, the family sticks together. And I really think it's been good for both sides. The most important thing is, and I think, is that she loves us and you know, wants to be near us, and you know, we're, her, we're her boys. The goal this year was Hep's own. Play 13, 12 regular season games plus a bowl game. When the Hoosiers beat Ball State for their sixth win, they became bowl eligible. The message is Hep's too. Don't quit. Every player wears it on his helmet. And now, his wife lives it every day. The way I'm going to carry on the legacy is I, I will not quit in what I'm about, in my connection with this team, my connection with this university, my connection with this community. I have 105 kids that are a part of my life. How fortunate can you be? I count them all 
and as blessings, everyone. To inspire the team and try to secure that bowl invitation, the football program invited a special speaker in this week, Jane Hepner herself. And according to the players who heard her, they said a lot of football coach was coming out, a lot of old coach Hep coming through.